Hey again, it's Clinton. I'm back with more Destiny. Today is a little something different. We're not doing gameplay footage. As you can see, we're, we've got a good old-fashioned slideshow here. And before I begin, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my viewers, Coolman35. He had suggested I do um, a video on this topic, so I'd like to just thank him for his feedback. And now here it is. Um, the topic for today is uh, the change, a uh, one key change that came down the pipe along with the uh, big weapon patch, the weapon balance update, was uh, Bungie put in a nice quality of life improvement, and that deals specifically with well, it affects the game, but you do you interact with it through either Bungie.net or through the Destiny companion app, which you can get for your phone or tablet. So what they've introduced is something called mobile vaults. And what this is, is you can now swap gear between all your characters without taking each character back to the tower and going into your vault there to dump stuff off of the vault and then switch to another character and doing the same thing, right? You can now do it on the fly, practically in real time, uh, through uh, Bungie.net or through the app. So here's how it works. I'm going to just run through it on Bungie.net. I could have grabbed slides off my tablet, but I decided, well, Bungie.net everyone's got a browser everyone can get on the site so this is probably the most generalized lowest common lowest common denominator way to do it so here we go so what you do is you go to bungee.net and you just log in via your platform of choice and you're at the landing page here and what you want to do is to go to the navigation on the left hand side and there you uh, select legend and that's gonna pop up I think the last character uh, that you viewed or the last character you played in the game so in this scenario to just demonstrate I want to move a weapon from my hunter to my warlock so my warlock selected here I just want to switch to my hunter you would just click over to your uh, banner or I would say your character emblem and that gives you the drop down you select the character you want so we're gonna go to my hunter and so we've got the hunter focused now and we're going to look at the hunter's gear so in the center there center top you can see the guardian advisors gear inventory submenu we select gear and then we're just going to mouse over the primary weapon slot i want to move this pulse rifle the evergreen over to my warlock i want to give it to him and uh showing the evergreen here is a little bit of uh, of a tease a little foreshadowing of a, a video gonna, I'm going to make soon uh, that's going to um, feature this this weapon so stay tuned for that uh, so okay so we've uh, hovered over the weapon and we want to inspect it so we click it and we're going to bring up the detail screen now what they've added is a new button near the bottom I've put a, a, an attractive red arrow to show you it's move to vault so we're going to click that and there's no real like notification or confirmation once you do it it just happens so you notice now that the weapon is now gone from my primary uh, weapon submenu and uh, now I'm going to navigate to my warlock because I want to have the warlock grab the weapon from the vault now so we kind of skipped a couple steps so now I'm looking at my warlock I'm looking at his gear and then this I missed initially because I never really used it before but there is an actual button slash tab called gear vault it's over on the right hand side I put an arrow to show you you just want to mouse over that area and then you're gonna get a slide out and this shows you everything you have in your vault and then I'm going to highlight where they've uh, stuck the evergreen pulse rifle which is down there so perfect, I click on that and it's going to bring another uh, detail screen and the only option from this point is take from vault. So essentially now my warlock has just plucked this weapon from the vault and he now has it in his possession. So this thing, this sort of thing is almost, it's a little going too far maybe, but it, it really is a, a game changer. You save so much time now instead of going back to the tower because for me, Sometimes loading into the tower can take up to two minutes. And keep in mind, this will be done uh, with the game shut off. You can even be mid-mission 
doing a patrol, doing a story mission or what, whatnot, and you can pop up your browser and you can swap uh, items around on the fly. Now on Bungie's page, they interviewed the uh, lead engineer in charge of this change, and he was saying that you could not do this while your character is in a quote combat space. But um, Kuman35, who, who suggested I do this video, he had his own testimony saying that he could just do it anytime. He's in the middle of a patrol uh, with enemies around, and he was able to just uh, grab a weapon from another character and stick it onto his current character, which he was using in game. So it's pretty uh, versatile, and I I'm going to test that out myself as well, just to, just to see. So yep, so that that's the basics of how you do it. Uh, keep in mind you can also transfer other things besides gear or weapons. You can um, spread around things like telemetry, synthesis, um, uh, resources. So uh, in this example, I'm just gonna uh, share out some scout rifle tele telemetry with another character. So it's the same deal. You highlight it, you click it to inspect, and then you have uh, the option to move the vault. And with the uh, consumables, you have the option of uh, partitioning how much you want to take, right? So you have a they present you with a slider here, and you can adjust how much you want to transfer. Very handy. You no longer it's no longer a all or nothing deal, right? So once you've selected your quantity, you click transfer, and oops. Well, that just segues right into the next uh, item on the wish list that everyone's hoping to get is the bigger vault space. Out of space my vault I cannot transfer and of course Bungie is still working on this change. Uh, very great of them uh, to roll out this change first. This was obviously planned where they wanted to do the mobile vaults before they introduced the expanded vault space. And oops, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I want to show you. Uh, you know, this is a great feature. Um, of course, in a perfect world, we would have something like this integrated right into the game proper. Of course, I understand that it's uh, so much easier to just um, basically change the um, web apps, the sort of supporting tools first, and test out that functionality before actually going right into the game and messing with the game itself. Of course, that. You know who knows what they could break or how much time that could take to actually change the the, the guts of the game to actually support this functionality after the fact so i appreciate that they've actually just done this they have the fixation of course to uh, get us to use the companion apps on benji.net to check updates and check our grimoire anyway so hmm, kind of works for benji in the end so we all win really and uh, that's really all I wanted to cover today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back again pretty soon with another video and then probably uh, a, a, another weapon review finally on uh, a certain uh, pulse rifle that I've showed uh, in this presentation. So cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, you all have a nice day. See you all next time. Ciao.